Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be integrating Cucumber with Cypress page update model. So let's begin. Now, in the previous tutorial, we learned that how we can implement the page update model with the Cypress. Now we are taking one step ahead of it and we are integrating the Cucumber with this one. So if you haven't seen my this video on Cypress and page update model, just go and check out this video and after watching this video, just come to this video and from uh, next step, we are now moving forward towards this one. In our previous video, uh, we learned that how we can implement the design pattern page update model with Cypress. Now we are moving a one step ahead of it. In our previous tutorial, we learned that how we can implement the page update model design pattern with the Cypress. Now in this tutorial, we will be implementing or integrating the Cucumber with page update model and Cypress. So right now the project is open with me and the page update model design pattern is already implemented here. So let me give you a high level overview of this one before we indicate with the Cucumber. So this is our main test case. And if you go here on the left side, we have page objects. So under the page objects, I have page actions and the page elements. And inside the page actions, I have a login page actions. Click on this one. So this is already implemented here and we have page elements already implemented here and then we have the main test case here. So let me go to terminal and let's open the Cypress test runner and PX Cypress open and let me show you that it's working. So for this tutorial, I use the demo or an HRM website and uh, when you open this website, you will be landing on the login page and you can provide the username and password in order to log in into this particular web application. So let me show you this website. Meanwhile, it will open the test runner. So this is a website and let me go here and open this one here. So for that tutorial, I used this demo website here. Once you hit the URL in the browser, it will land on the login page. So uh, it's loading. So you will land on this page and they have provided the demo username and password. You can use the username and password to log in into this particular or HRM demo website. So let me show you. Let me copy the username here and paste it here. And let me copy this one and paste it here and click on login. So it will log in us to the dashboard here where you find the different options here. So let me log out from here. And now let me run uh, this test, which we created in our previous tutorial. So let me click on this login.js file. It will execute our test here. And you will see that it will take us to this login page. It will provide the username and password and click on the login button. So yes, it's working absolutely fine. And we are successfully logged in into the system. So our script is currently working absolutely fine. Now we will be integrating it with the Cucumber here. So let me go to Visual Studio Code here and let me show you my package.json. And I'm currently using the Cypress version 9. 7.0 okay and now let's go to the browser here and in the browser you need to go to the website called npmjs.com and here you need to search for cucumber preprocessor and here cypress cucumber dash preprocessor 4.3.1 click on this one and here you will find all the sections in order to install the Cucumber and how we need to work with the Cucumber Cypress, right? So the first thing is that we need to install this one. So I'm copying this one from here and let's go to the Visual Studio Code here and let me terminate this one and paste this one. So what it will do is that it will install this Cypress Cucumber preprocessor here and we will be seeing this shortly in package.json. So it will take some time to install. And 
once it will install we need to do some more configurations here so if i go to browser again here and let me show you here so in our cypress plugins index.js we need to add this code then further we need to add this code in our cypress.json and we also need to add this one in our package.json right so these are the configurations we need to do once it will be installed and let me go back to, to video studio code here and this is done successfully and if i go to my package.json you will see that we have cypress cucumber preprocessor now we need to follow the instructions and we need to do these additional configurations so in cypress plugin index.js we need to add this one so let me copy this one from here and in plugins index.js let's scroll down here and let me add it here save this file now go back to the further instructions in cypress json let me copy this one and now go back here cypress json let me add it here and save this one and now let's go back here and see what additional configurations we need to do so we need to add this one in our package.json file so let's copy this one and go back here and go to package.json and here we need to add this one so we are done with our configurations and before we start working with the cypress file itself and creating the feature file and working with the gherkin so let me tell you some rules here so the the rule is that you need to create a feature file inside this integration folder the first thing we need to do this so inside this one i'm getting a new file i'm naming it as login dot feature i have already installed the very good extension here let me show you here so this extension is very helpful when you are writing or creating a feature file you should install this one okay and let me uh, go to my login dot feature so as soon as i start typing it's helping me and it will be easier for me to write a feature file here so the feature is orange hrm login feature and here we need to provide a description of this feature so who this feature user should be able to log in into orange hrm demo website so this is a description of the feature now what we need to do is that we need to create a feature file we have already uh, you know created the login.js when we were working with the page update model design pattern and here you see that we have these steps already like visiting the website then we are providing the username and password and clicking on the login button and with respect to these steps i will be creating my feature file here okay so here we need to start with the scenario and scenario is that user should be able to log in using valid credentials that's my scenario and given is that visit the orange hrm website then we have when and when user provide username when user provide password then 
click on login button to log in into the orange hrm website so we have written our steps here and now what we need to do is that we need to map these steps with our test file right which is already following the page object model design pattern let me save this one and now we need to map this one here now what we will do is that we will be starting with the given here so i'm typing at given and it's changing here so let me retype here given and first we need to implement the given but we need which we have written in our feature file followed by a callback function and the body of the callback function here right and in the given we have visited the orange hrm website so let me copy this one and paste it here and inside this one i will be moving this part from here remove this one from here and paste it here and similarly for the rest of the steps we will do the same and here now we need a when and and inside the when l in the same way followed by a callback function and the body of callback function and this is my first when copy this one from here paste it here and let me copy this from here remove this one from here and paste it here and similarly let me copy this one from here it here now change it for second one here copy this one go back here it here and let's go a bit above here so i'm just copying the steps which we written in our previous tutorial so let's paste it here and then finally we have a then implementation here so let me paste it here changes to then and now we need to also change this one copy this step from here and it here and 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 the final step from here let me copy this one from here and paste it here as simple and now i will remove this it block from here because we need to implement the cucumber feature file and we need to map it with the step definition here even uh, we don't need this describe block as of now so i'm removing that one as well from here so we have um, mapped our feature file with our test case here but still what we need to do is that we need to import the given when then else this javascript file will not recognize this given when then so simply write import and what we need to import we need given comma when comma then and these are coming from so inside this one we will write cucumber so cypress cucumber preprocessor slash steps that's what we need to do here save this file here and now there's a rule right the rule is that this this feature file needs to be inside this integration folder and whenever we create a step definition what we need to do is that we need to create a folder inside the integration with the same name here so right now it's a test cases let me rename this to 
logging as it would not recognize our features right so inside the integration folder we need to create the feature file that's a rule and the second rule is that we need to create this folder with the same name so i create the same uh, folder here with the same name and inside that we have this file okay now we are ready we have imported uh, this uh, cucumber given when and then we have implemented or glued the given when then here with respect to the steps here now uh, let's open the test runner and px cypress open and let's try to run this one either it's working or not if we face any problem we will try to fix that one so let's run this file login dot feature and see what happens here so ideally we have done with all the steps it should work so in the given it's going to this website you see that in the given we have visit orange HR website and they're visiting this website providing the username and password and clicked on the login button and successfully we are logged in so that's how basically we can integrate cucumber with our page object model and cypress this is a real time example we worked on this one thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial